Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we will be seeing how to create a simple chatbot using Langraph and OpenAI. Okay so first of all what is Langraph? Langraph is a package uh, provided by the Langchain community and its team for creating stateful agents. You must have heard the term of agents. So what is agent? So, give, so let me give you an example. Let's say I have a LLM and I am interacting with him, and I'm and I'm and I've set a rule that if uh, if I get a mail from uh, X Y Z person, reply to him in a certain way. If it's a if it's a mail from a certain group, reply to him that. So you are automating your certain tasks. Uh, yeah. So when you're automating these tasks with the help of which involves different applications and tools. Let's say you are going on Wikipedia, searching something and then reverting that result back to the user in the chatbot which, which involves the LLM, the different tools, applications and the flow is being automated. These are called as uh, and when these things is being done by the AI itself that is the LLM, we call it uh, AI agents. Okay, So you can build such AI agents using Langraph. There are various other other uh, packages popular one also like uh, crew.ai is one of them then uh, langraph is one i'm not sure uh, uh, of llama index but i'm there must be something of llama index team also okay so let's get started uh, the first cell we are uh, doing the installation we are installing langchain langraph openai and langchain community okay so your we have the package being installed here i'm loading my open ai key i've saved my i've saved my keys here uh, this is a good way of saving your keys and you can just add your key here and it's sorted then whenever you log into a different device or any other session these keys are retained and uh, maintained by collab and you can just load these keys with the help of user data dot get function okay now here what i'll do is because i'm using open ai i'll be importing chat open ai i've kept the model as gpt 40 which is gpt 4 omni temperature is set to zero that means that my responses will be deterministic they won't be having very much creativity or randomness they will be deterministic max tokens i've kept as none that means there is no restriction on the output being generated by llm we can generate as much tokens as possible and there is no timeout set so the responses he would be keep on looking for for the responses once once the user says something there is no timeout which uh, which cuts the session in between and here i'm passing my api key okay so this is how i initialize my language model okay so let me run this cell I think there is some redundant code just just be okay with it okay want to clean a code yeah and now my okay, there's a deprecation warning but it's fine for now uh, now what I've done is uh, I want to create my uh, I want I want to create my uh, graph my chatbot flow okay so the most uh, simplistic way the flow would be I'm starting it having a chatbot in middle and I'm ending it. You can add different modules in between if you want to let's say add a module for searching the results on Wikipedia or triggering a mail so you, so you can add those functions in between but right now this is a simple chatbot where we are starting okay we are end we are doing a chatbot a module in between and we are doing the end okay. Uh, first I'll show you the graph, it will give you idea. So this is how my chatbot will look. It is starting, we have a chatbot in between and it is ending up. Okay. So how to set it up? So what we do is uh, we take help of state graph from Langraph. So from Langraph.graph we are importing state graph, start and end. Okay. We are also importing the other classes like annotated and type and type dict and we are using add messages okay 
So what we are trying to do is for creating the graph, we are initializing our a graph build object by passing a state to it. Okay. Now what does this state does? This state maintains the conversation between the user and the LLM. Okay. And it is being maintained in the form of a dictionary where the key is messages and the value is annotated list with add messages function from line graph dot graph dot message it helps us in not overwriting the messages in the list but appending it out okay now here i've maintained my structure that is my state schema which will be inherited by the state graph class and a graph builder object is created my LLM, I think I've initialized it above also another redundant code. Okay. And there, here is my chatbot function, which takes the state. Okay. And then with that state, whatever message is being sent by user, the LLM would invoke answer and the answer from the LLM would be again saved into that state with the key of messages and my list my annotated list okay and this module i am now adding as a node into my graph builder which uh, my my graph build object okay so and with this node i'm also adding a edge of start with start to chatbot and then after chatbot to end okay let's say if you have some another module let's say triggering a mail or maybe searching the results online so you can have one more one more node and an edge to, to that node which can be called as maybe web search web, uh, web search node and you, you you can set a logic that if the chatbot is unable to answer that question with its current knowledge he can trigger the edge of web search and then get the answer back and then give the response to the user okay right now it is simple we are starting it we have a chatbot and we have an end okay finally we are compiling the graph i hope, hope i'm not running the cells I'm just explaining them okay so here we added it And this is how my graph looks start chatbot and end okay finally this is just the uh, conversation logic we have here we have a function of that stream graph updates where for we are uh, initializing the conversation here okay we are streaming it the user input is coming in the user input variable and for every event the assistant is returning its uh, response okay and you can uh, quit the quit the bot if you have entered quit exit or q and if something goes wrong it is just sending a question please tell me what a problem you're facing so let me start with a simple question let's say what is the uh, capital of india okay so it gave me the answer the capital of india is new delhi so let me ask him one more question uh, who is virat kohli it gave me answer virat kohli is an indian cricketer and lots of other information now i want to quit my with quit it gives me a final message of goodbye and hence my entire conversation has been done so this is how with the help of lang graph we have created a simple chatbot okay here for adding different other modules you can just create a function for it module and then add it as a edge and a node into the graph and you can set the entire flow of the conversations which you want for your application okay so that's it with this video if you if you learn something new 
uh, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff. Take care, peace out.